The fire started over in the corner because of an electrical issue. It then spread throughout what used to be a storage unit. This is it, the moment Kansas City Chiefs fans have been waiting for. Miller's professional imaging has created face shields in order to give to local hospitals. Now, if you zoom in a little bit closer here, you can see the distance he makes each hour. I'm outside Hard Rock Stadium right now where tickets are in high demand. Look at this wall. As you can see, it's caved in over here. One week after Pesky's death, investigators were following more than 60 leads. Seniors are saying this is crushing. And freshmen are saying they haven't even gotten a chance to get acclimated to campus yet. We're here at Marlins Park where they're getting set up for the opening week of Super Bowl festivity. Yeah, guys, KC Superman, also known as Michael Wheeler, bought a one-way ticket here to Miami, Florida, but doesn't have a ticket to the actual Super Bowl. But he thinks Chiefs fans can help him out with that one. Fans are really excited this Kansas City icon is in Miami. I'm going to that city and run around representing my hometown, Kansas City. Casey Superman has been making people smile for more than two decades. He's been a Kansas City staple. If you walk around anywhere in downtown, he's running around with his cape. And this is my 24th year promoting the cheese. KC Superman retired last year. He's so well loved, they made a mural in his honor. Fans say he's almost 70 and full of energy. Like every Chiefs fan, just he's proud, he's, he loves the community, um, he loves the Chiefs, and he's just full of energy. I mean, I hope at his age I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> but now, he's back. But I'm feeling right, so I came out of retirement to watch the Chiefs go in the playoffs and, and win it up. He came down here in hopes of getting into the Super Bowl. People have taken pictures. They put in hashtag, hashtag, get him in. So to see him here in Miami, it's great. I love it. It's great. People from all over are trying to help him, even those who aren't Chiefs fans. I hope he gets tickets. <laughs> I got faith. I got, I got super natural faith that I get in. Boom, there, there it is. If he does get in, I'm sure we'll see him running around the Hard Rock Stadium cheering on the Chiefs. As for how he's getting home, well, that question's still up in the air. Thomas Sidebottom says he was out kayaking with a friend. Sidebottom's kayak flipped over. His friend safely made it to shore to call 911. But for 75 painstaking minutes, Sidebottom waited, hoping his friend would get help. Every time I think I'd see a light or something, I was hoping it was somebody and I'd just scream and holler and whistle trying to get attention from anybody. That wait lasted more than an hour after his kayak flipped. Thomas Sidebottom was by himself in the swollen Missouri River. It's a surreal, eerie feeling when you're out there by yourself floating. You know, I just, I really can't put it into words. Regional West Fire District Chief Jack Brady says this was a huge response. His and three other agencies had a total of six boats helping. Searching dangerous floodwaters in the dark, he says the district isn't pressing any charges. And then someone comes out and helps them, us, helps them out. We don't always just uh, go after them and say, now they're going to be punished for having an accident. So, no, there will be no repercussions from us. To everybody that was there, I appreciate everything you did. Sidebottom's grateful for those rescuers. Yeah, worried that I would never go see my family again. You know, I don't want to ever have to put my family through that. Sidebottom says he also feels bad he put firefighters in that position, especially since he says he used to be a volunteer firefighter himself. I found out today investigators have tracked down almost 200 leads. MSHP says their goal is to give Melissa Pesky's friends and family closure and make sure justice is served. There's no doubt for our investigators this is one of those cases that they take home with them. That they're thinking about when they're at home. Uh, trying to, you know, work through the leads, prioritize the leads. Melissa Pesky died last December 13th. Police say someone shot and killed her from outside her car. This happened off I-70 near Boonville. Yes, this was not an accident. This the Missouri State Highway Patrol says this is not a case you see every day. Uh, this is open and it's active and there, there's still a lot of work to do. The number of new leads has dwindled as the year's gone on. One week after Pesky's death, investigators were following more than 60 leads. In September, nine months after the incident, there were 139 leads. And right now, there are 185 leads. Um, a little alarming, I think, even to the public. In a statement from MSHP, Sergeant Griggs said, quote, we continue to work with multiple law enforcement agencies spanning several states. Griggs says they follow every lead and hopes it brings them answers.
In September, Pesky's family offered a $10,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of her killer. Well, Thanksgiving is for family, friends, and we can't forget about the food. <laughs> but on Tuesday at the White House, it'll be for the birds, bread and butter specifically. President Trump can only pardon one turkey, and he's leaving it up to the public. Voting is taking place on Twitter right now, so go vote. Here's a live look at the New York Stock Exchange's big board. The Dow is down more than 1,700 points from when it opened. This is what the board looked like around 8.30 this morning. The Dow fell more than 1,800 points at the opening bell, which prompted an automatic 15-minute stop in trading. That break kicks in when the stock performance for 500 large companies falls more than 7%. The freeze is an attempt to calm the markets. You might notice some flames coming from Columbia Regional Airport today. It's all part of a live-action firefighting training with a mock aircraft. If you're passing by the airport, Everything's okay. Today, state lawmakers talked about a constitutional change that would ban transgender athletes from playing school sports as their new gender. People from all over Missouri came out to talk about a possible change to the state constitution. The hearing room was packed. Almost 40 people came to testify. You never think you'd be able to do that that often during the winter season just because it's so cold and you always want to stay inside, cuddle up, grab a book or something. Right, but it's not too late to make a different kind of change this year, losing debt instead of weight. The devastating wildfires are continuing to worsen. Authorities are expecting terrible fire conditions today. At least 19 people are dead and more than 1,000 homes have been destroyed. By this morning, fire officials say the fire threatened almost 2,400 homes. So far, none of them have burned. Now here's a look at what we're following for KMU8 News at 6. Cheaper electric bills for Amron customers could be on the way. It sure was a beautiful day. Dozens of kids helped spread seeds and learn more about the environment at the third annual Youth Pollinator Program. Well, you know what they say, everything's bigger in Texas. Well, check this out. A newborn baby is breaking records and melting hearts. Ollie James Medlock was born on December 12th at a whopping, get this, 14 pounds and 13 ounces. Because of his size, he had to stay in the NICU for a few days, but he's doing better. Ollie's parents, Jennifer and Eric, are both music teachers in the Arlington area. Their doctor told them that Ollie was the biggest baby he's ever delivered in his 30 plus years on the job. But now we're kind of seeing it warm up. Is that gonna stay? Yeah. You know what I think of dress codes? <laughs> I think dress codes were made to be broken. Yeah, okay. Exactly. I agree. <laughs> are, are Especially we, when it comes to the blues. Are we styling tonight? Or we what? are. I mean, why not? Why not? It's, it's been 49 the first years. time ever. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs>